Hello Collective, um, I am here today to give out a very sad uh, compassion, De- yeah, definitely sad, but uh, yeah, it is what it is, um, this is definitely what is a result of a boomerang of black magic that was being done to me from these group of people actually boomeranged back to them and by I mean a group of these people I am going to mention the names of Deanna Taylor which is my mother Ataria Judine Taylor who is my sister Troy Henson who is my sister's husband Eddie Alexander who is my other oldest sister's brother and his wife Sheila Alexander and Roger um, Alexander McNeil um this is what I received today which is also the going to be the exposure of the murder plot and they followed through with the whole thing to kill James Alvin Taylor who is my father also involving a reveal of where the evidence is located and where it where the manipulation had started or where the 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 first um pair the first pair of the original the original paperwork that was stolen from me um is going to be revealed as well um anyway so i'm going to just read it to you So, uh, the murder, the murder of my father, who was, uh, the woman who actually did the plot twist and set it all up was, um, my mom. This was the wife that put the hit out on her husband. Okay. So she killed, uh, it says killed partner who was a tranny. That was the spirit of, uh, the young person, I mean, the older person, which was my dad, he had a, a incubus and succubus spirit in him. OK, again, he practiced occult black magic. So that was what he picked up when he had sex addictions and whatnot. And anyway, it says tranny because they was afraid that they was going to find out that the young lover had been seeing another lover. He had him entangled with a third party. Which was that um, the young lover began preparing and cleaning up to receive the older lover who was known as the tranny. That's the spirit of him. Now the younger lover went into the kitchen and poured in a liquid concoction, which was lean. Um, and poured, he poured it in a pitcher. Uh, it was too much. He just put the drink in the refrigerator and opened the door inviting him in his older lover tranny he started talking about him knowing better and he should just tell the truth the young lover then asked if he wanted a drink the reply was yes Uh, he then proceeded into the kitchen and then poured him a cup of ice in it oh and he put him a cup of ice in it he gave it to the older lover and his lover loved Loved the drink. He wanted another, another cup. The younger lover began to feel anxiety because another cup would overdose him, overdose him. The older lover tranny, okay, which was my dad. And he, it said, and he would die knowing he knew about his heart condition. Still, he said nothing. So his uh, lover, the older man, grabbed the pitcher and poured it in himself and the younger the younger lover knew he fucked up but he uh still had a mask on which was a plain face he showed no emotion uh um collective roger knew that this was wrong and he still went through with the whole thing he went along with it then oh they had sex and he was on the couch After getting dressed, he began to feel woozy and sleepy, so he lay back and drifted into a deep sleep, but he stopped breathing. And the young lover, which is Roger, 
panicked, scared. Uh, he was pacing back and forth all in his head, trying to keep it together so he could stage it. Uh, he made it seem like my dad was sleeping on the couch. He turned him onto his side and covered him up, propped him with the pillows on the couch in the living room. So when my when my uh so when my sister and my mom came in from shopping, right, this was this was the escape goat that these two had put together. My mom told Roger that she wanted she wanted him to poison my father, seduce him, talk to him, convince him, pull on his heartstrings. But this woman hired him out of spite because she got tired of him cheating on her. So instead, she wanted to get back at him by hitting him with two stones at once. Because, like I said, Collective, they was projecting black magic on me. And I said in my readings that it was going to go right back to them and they were going to end up fighting with each other. I said this. I told you. Y'all, I promise you the divine is not playing. Anyway, so he um laid him under the covers and prepped him up and act like he was sleeping stuff. When they came in, my mom and my sister was talking under their breath to one another. Because, you know, again, collective, my mom and my sister, they tell everybody's business. They always gossiping. They hold other secrets and shit, but they do discuss your personal business with everybody. So if you if you talked in confidence to Ateria or my mom, please know that the universe, everybody knows your business, point blank period, because they're not your true friends. They laugh at you. Anyway, um, in the home, and then she, uh, after a while, they were sitting at the table, and a while went by, my, my sister had uh, yelled out my dad's name, and he wouldn't respond, so then she walked up to him, and Mind you, they had gotten dropped off by Troy. I don't know if he pulled off or not, but Troy uh, dropped them off. And they went, they came in the house and then some time had went by. After that time, I went by to Rhea, had yelled out my dad's name to see if he would respond because he'd been asleep. He ain't said nothing. He ain't moved. So she got up and she walked up to him. And when she poked him on his shoulder, she was shaking him and she was calling his name. Dad, dad, he wouldn't respond. So she pulled him over. She rolled him over and she looked in his face and his eyes was glassy. She screamed. My mom's response was so freaking dark, y'all. It was not funny. Anyway, um... Yeah, my sister screamed, crying, my mom responding, I'm not mad, uh, resentment, hatred, bitterness, selfishness, blackmail. Uh, Ateria ran and said, I'm leaving, I can't take this, or something on, on, that, on the lines of that, okay? So, my mother, Deanna Taylor, uh, that's her married name, her maiden name is Bournes was the woman who hired Roger Alexander McNeil to kill James Alvin Taylor. And my mom's uh, final thought, uh, before I say this collective, this was a treat that the divine had blessed me with to know about my mom's deep thought that was downloaded to me through my ancestors. I thank you so much and I appreciate you and I, I, I'm, I'm happy. Thank you so much. Uh, my mom's final thought in her pineal gland that was downloaded to me was that the woman who hired Roger Alexander McNeil to kill James Alvin Taylor and my mom's final thought to herself that the ancestors heard you say to yourself was if I can't have him, no one can. Also, the information this is hidden is in the ceiling like an opening to an attic. Uh, you will find it hidden, hidden documents. That is very vital evidence. Signing out Deanna Taylor, Ateria Judine Taylor, Troy Henson. You all have been exposed to the world about the murder of my father. All for greed of money. Eddie Alexander, Sheila Alexander was the married couple that was the ones who said what does and does not go. They was the ones using black magic to slow the process down to have more time because they was working on trying to figure out how to run or work, um, work spells, sympathy spells for when the law come that they would 
have mercy on them and nobody would get locked up or they would try to blame it all on me. Um, and blinding spells and love spells and etc. All to create chains of confusion to keep people from knowing that these people in Philadelphia that is related to me actually went through with a homicide murder concerning James Alvin Taylor, who was 83 or 82 years old, who was going to be 84 this August. And I'm going to correct the date. It was not the 21st. It was the 22nd, August 22nd, born 1938. He was a Leo. He was in the military. He was sexually assaulted and raped and passed down like a Philly blunt as a child. He was mentally abused. He did not heal from it. He chose to be that way. He suffered from childhood trauma that he did not want to heal from. He chose to self-medicating and he liked the dark, the dark arts. He had a sexual fetish. He was dark and twisted and evil and serene. He was a black widow. He was hiding and using the religion of Christianity as a powerful truth teller, speaker, and a bishop only as a cloak and a mask to, cro to cover that he was never a believer of God. He worshiped Satan. He sacrificed children family members and loved ones for material gain and power. His wife was full of spite and she is of the same cloak. She murdered, set it up for him to be killed and annihilated. She is not the divine and she took judgment of another man's life into her own hands. And because she tried to play that position, she will be judged. And you will lose your life and you will be in torture for you being a false God and blaspheming the Holy Spirit and continuing to cover for what was dark and never was a part of God's purity or his light for condemning those who were spiritual and acknowledging who they were and discrediting them by using spiritual manipulation. You will suffer. Judgment is on your head. The angel of death is at your feet. You will receive no purity. You are in the dark with no protection. You are alone. Your mind will be stripped. You will be confused, have no judgment and be alone for you are not protected. I am not with you. My back is closed to you. The door that you stood at that you wanted to come into is now closed to you. You will fall and go straight to hell, but you will suffer mentally, spiritually, Physically, all of you that is involved, you will also receive the karma for this unjust behavior. I have given you time to come and make amends and to part ways from your evil ways and do what is right. And you chose material over love and abundance that was truly meant for you to have. Yet you have given yourself to toxic things of low vibrations of the enemy. You knew what you were doing and you justified your acts. You did acts of hiding in behind things and objects. I seen all of you and I promised my child that I will avenge her. War is what you apply you will be swept away. You are no longer a part of my light. You are condemned and you have fallen 
from grace.